Is this what Leo Messi's future looks like? FC Barcelona is in his blood, as is Newell's. But there will be a day when Messi decides to move on. And when he does, is Miami his next destination? This week on Justin's Case, we're looking at Leo Messi's American dream. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to episode five of Justin's Case. We are five episodes in with many, many, many more to come. And if you wanna show Justin's Case some love, we would really appreciate it. We work hard on this show each week and all we ask is you drop us a like and maybe a little comment if you like the show. Now, if you really like the show, you can also hit subscribe. And if this is your favorite, favorite show on the whole internet, you can also click the bell so you never miss an episode of Justin's Case or any of the other great content Oh My Goal is out here working on day after day. So this week, I want you to picture South Beach. Some nice Latin music, Cuban food. This could be the future of one of the game's greatest ever ballers. Because rumors are that Lionel Messi wants to one day, no time soon, end his career in Miami. Last December, he gave an interview with La Sexta and he told this phrase that was uh, really unexpected. One day, we'd like to experience life in the States. But he added a very strong phrase because he told I would like to experience also playing in that league. David Beckham's Inter Miami is an exciting project. Inter Miami is probably a very vintage project because it's that kind of project that was making famous the MLS. That's to say playing good players, not anymore maybe in the Sunset Boulevard, but still in prime time and bring them there. It's like a very American thing. You want big names in, in lights on the, on the billboards or whatever. Messi's international teammate, Gonzalo Higuain, is already there. And you know what? He said something pretty interesting recently. Higuain basically admitted that he thought he would be able to walk his way through football in the MLS. But boy, was he wrong. So, so wrong. MLS in the last years just experienced the change, a great change indeed. Because when the project started, it was a sort of El Dorado for all the good players in Europe. And it was very weird, the mix of players that was playing Carlos Valderrama, Christo Stoichkov, players with nothing to share the one with the other. What some players found though, was that this league, which they perceived as this very easy transition, was not as easy as they might have hoped. And that had something to do with the quality of play, which I think is slightly higher than several of them are expecting. But mostly it had to do with the fact that MLS is a very difficult league to play in. The travel is brutal. It is a summer league in the United States because they don't want to compete with American football. And so you will fly 2,000 miles, often commercial, because MLS doesn't have private jets the way leagues abroad do. Then in the last 10 years, it changed a lot because a lot of American players stay there to play instead of going to Europe. And a lot of young players indeed went over there. Now look, MLS isn't the best league, that's for sure. But it isn't the easiest league either. It's quite physical. And while Zlatan came in and tore things up and dominated, a lot of great players have struggled there. Talking Pirlo, Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard. All three of these legends had a tough time in major league soccer because it's a different culture of football. He struggled. Steven Gerrard struggled with, with LA Galaxy, with the heat, with the temperature, with the travel. But look, Messi, he's living greatness. I think he could succeed there, right? He might be more likely to follow in the footsteps of someone like Zlatan, David Beckham, or Thierry Henry. They all had a huge impact on the league in terms of their professionalism and the amount of goals they scored or assisted, as well as their kind of impact of being a huge legend playing in the league. For the players, it was very attractive in that Thierry Henry could walk down the street in New York City and get a coffee. He can't do that in Paris. Wayne Rooney cannot walk the streets of London and get a pint. And so for these players, they got that level of anonymity. They got to, in theory, play in what they perceived would be an easier league and kind of gently go off into retirement. And they also got to grow their brand in the United States. Pirlo had not the level of fame that Messi has. Messi is very reserved. I'm not quite sure that he is thinking about the lifestyle or not in the case of the lifestyle, the VIP lifestyle. He's never been watched in discos or restaurants or, you know. In my opinion, he just lost the tax program of the States. That could be a reason. 
and he just loved to be in a place where everything is big. And apparently Barcelona has added a clause in his contract so he can leave at some point for MLS. That would be convenient because if Messi moves to another club in Europe, he becomes competition. And you wouldn't want Messi for competition. So will Messi make it to the MLS at one point? If Inter Miami starts going that route and starts finding those 19, 20, 21 year olds from South and Central America who are ready to make that leap, Messi becomes the greatest recruiting tool in the world because you're going to learn from the, the greatest of all time. Miami is a, a good point to start this kind of storytelling because it is to some extent the connection in between the United States and the Latin American world. He is owning properties in Miami and the father of Messi is a lot of time is in Miami. Great, so let's say Leo's now in Miami. Now he's captaining Inter Miami. How does he perform? Messi will thrive because he's such a complete player. You can put Messi anywhere on the field and he can contribute in really meaningful ways. And I think that if the pace drops a bit, he can still find ways to influence games in really great ways. And we've seen players like that kind of transcend the level, especially with teams that might not be able to press as high as they do in Europe. And now all of a sudden Messi, instead of having a half second on the ball, he's got a second or two or three seconds on the ball. And if you give Messi that much time, he's a genius. He'll do whatever he wants. I'm quite sure that if he's going over there, he's not going to make the circus. You know what I mean? He's not Buffalo Bill on the, on the circus, making things just to entertain people. He's going over there to play and to play in the only way he knows. That's running like a dog on the ball. Okay, it is time, just in time, for Justin's case. I really need extra writers so we can come up with better jokes, man. This is not good. Lionel Messi is, in my opinion, the greatest footballer of all time. Sorry, CR7 fans, it's just my view. His career has been incredible, he's won almost everything and he's amazed us consistently for years and years and years. I think Leo deserves to enjoy his life some. He's such a footballing wizard that I don't think he'll ever stop trying to compete. The thing is when you play football at the top for so so long like he has and you've been so committed to winning, I think at some point it's kind of hard to look yourself in the mirror and become just like a normal citizen or person again. I mean Messi will always be Messi but we saw how Maradona struggled with life after football. I don't think Messi will be the same because for a lot of reasons, he's learned from the past, he learned from Maradona. He has a family and investments and a lot of people around him and family around him to guide him. He's a very different personality. He's been raised and his career has worked out in very different ways with different circumstances. But it can still be hard to face the end of a career. So I hope that if Messi does decide to go to Miami, he'll also be able to enjoy his life a little bit in a different way to find some happiness outside of football. Anyway, that's my take, but I want to hear all of yours. Drop us a comment to let us know what you think about Messi's American dream. Should he go to Miami? Or is there another team that might suit him better? Or another league even? Drop us a comment with your case, and we'll see you next week for another episode of Justin's Case.